This one is C9H10O2. It has five double bond equivalents. We have a 5H in the aromatic region between 7 and 8. It's going to be C6H5. We've got a CH2 here and a CH3 here. It can't be an NH2. There's no nitrogen in the compound. So one CH2 and one CH3. Pieces left over. We've got a C. We have two O's and a double bond equivalent. That would suggest a C double bond O and an oxygen. Everything counts down to zero. That should be the pieces. Now we need to put them together. A couple of things I want you to take note of. First of all, that the CH2 and the CH3 are both single peaks. What this indicates is that the situation can't be like this. The CH2 cannot be next to the CH3. If it was, the CH2 would see the CH3 and that would be four peaks. And the CH3 would see the CH2 and that would be three peaks. So now we know that the CH2 and the CH3 are separated. We just have to figure out where the C double bond O and the O go couple of clues that we can look at here. We know that when something is directly connected to an oxygen like we see here, the CH2 is connected to the O, it's around 4 ppm, and this CH3 is connected to a C double bond O, and that's going to be between 2 and 2.5 and ppm. We can also get another clue as well by looking at the structure. Let's go back to this. You can see here that we've got just sort of a single grouping of peaks for the aromatic region. This actually tells us something as well. And if you look at the possibilities for how the aromatic ring looks depending upon what's attached to it, you can see that when there's a C double bond O attached to the aromatic ring, it usually splits into two peaks uh, centered around say 7.5 ppm. An oxygen directly connected to the aromatic ring usually splits it into two groups and is around 7 ppm. But when you've got a carbon group connected to the, like an alkyl group connected to the aromatic ring, it's usually a single grouping of peaks um, between 7 and 7.5 and ppm. And that's the situation we have here, suggesting that we have the CH2 group directly connected to the aromatic ring. The other clues we've got here have to do with the placement of the 2H. I know it's a little bit more than 4 ppm, but part of that is due to the fact it's next to the aromatic ring. So we know it's next to the oxygen, and the aromatic ring's taking a little bit further downfield as well. The C double bond O will be here between the O and the CH3. As you can see, the CH3 is placed between 2 and 2.5 uh, two and ppm which would be correct for a CH3 directly connected to a C double bond O.